Yeah, no, I mean, we know what kind of player Ellie is, and he's swinging the bat well, and we just think it's a fit. I mean, we, we've talked about this before. I think every spot in the order is important, and there's a lot that goes into it. It's not all about Ellie, and it was just the right fit within our lineup with how everything else worked, really. And, and there, obviously there's comfort in Ellie's ability, and, you know, we believe he's ready, and just like any young player, he has things to work on. He's going to keep continuing to get better um, as he's here, and we'll make sure of that, you know. But um, you know, he's as ready as you can, be, you, you can be. And I also believe that there's something to be said for you know trusting these guys, getting, giving them, you know, putting them right in there and letting them experience everything. You know, of course I care about him. Of course, you know, we'll all try to protect you know him and all of our other guys but uh, they're baseball players let them go out and play yeah I mean we're we've talked about this a lot we knew Ellie was going to be here we got to know him in spring training um, and there's a lot of players that you know young players in our system that are going to be here over time. You don't know for sure when that's going to be. A lot of times they just have to dictate when they're ready. And that's what Ellie did. He went and uh, played extremely well, um, not only on the field, but just the way he approaches the game and the way he works and all the things we're looking for to add you know, a player into our team and be able to help us win, because that's what it's all about. Ellie represents a lot of that. And he's still a young player. He has a long way to go. but. Um, yeah, I mean, very excited to to always to add to our team, and and uh, you know, and and what makes me excited about that is the rest of the group that we have. That um, you know, we are where we are. We're looking for ways to get better every single day, and uh, you know, he's going to be a great fit. Um. Yeah, I mean, I well. The, I think yes, culture is important to us. Also, the the you know we see this as an organizational um, approach to this game and winning um, at this level is is you know the whole the whole organization, staff, players, um, so many people contribute to what we're doing at this level. And so you know every time somebody comes up from the minor leagues, it's a great day for for the organization. You know we've. So many people work hard to contribute and help these guys improve to get to the point of, of being here. And then, I don't. I, from it's been impressive to me when every single guy that's gotten here, they are ready. They're ready to play, and that doesn't mean they don't have continued development that has to happen here. But the way they've handled themselves, the way they've approached um, every situation that I've thrown at them, Matt McLean, same thing. I put him in the, you know hit him second in the order and that was a big question that day and you know it's like they're ready to handle so much and a lot of that is because of who they are and their character but a lot of it has to do with our player development um, people that care so much about our guys and give everything they have to to make sure they're ready when they get here so for that reason it's great for our organizational culture is the timeline is the timeline always going up today or was that sped up a little bit by the IL I think I don't know that there was ever a date set. There actually, um, you know, and, and I would know that. So there was no date. We just knew that it was getting closer and closer and closer because of how Ellie was handling everything at that level. Um, and I know it was important for, even though he was putting up big numbers, there's other other parts of the game that you're looking at to make sure that that he's prepared to make the proper adjustments when he gets here. Really, that, that's what it's going to be because there will be. There always is adjustments to make at this level. So n not rushing that, um, you know, from everything I could tell, um, we did a great job of not rushing that. But it was so close. You know, Nick went on the IL today, and it was going to be a, a matter of days anyway. So, you know, if he's ready next week, say he's ready. He's ready today. So. <clears throat> Do you talk to Ellie about trying to manage those expectations that are coming from, whether it's fans, uh, whomever, outside the clubhouse? Yeah, you know, it's, it's amazing. Um, players 
they get to this level and, and once they get on the field they can you know that's kind of the the home you know and they can go out and just play the game um, he's handled a lot already you know a lot of our players have maybe Ellie more than than most um, so he we will support him you know we'll protect him we're behind him all the way but at the same time like he's he's prepared to handle a lot um, for me it's just Ellie being himself, Ellie being exactly who he is to go out and, and not have to do anything different. Of course, we're going to hold him to the standard of playing hard, which he always does, and continuing to, to work. Um, you know, when, when he's working and practicing, making sure he's doing that you know, game-like and making sure he's continuing to get better because that's going to be real important. He's 21 years old, so he has a long way to go. So. Um, those are a couple things we'll hold him accountable to, but other than that, we trust him to go out and, and play the game and be exactly who he is. Dave, what's the plan early just defensively for him? <clears throat> Any different spots you think he could play? Um, he could you know, probably play a lot of different spots on the field. Our focus is going to be third base, um, like he's playing tonight, and shortstop. So we, we, he's played a lot of of both of those spots in the minor leagues, and he's most prepared to to play there. Um, so I don't see anything beyond those two spots for now. What is the situation with Nick? Sorry. Yeah, um, it, we think it's going to be a, a quick IL stint, maybe even the 10 days. Um, he just has some, some soreness in there that needs to um, calm down. So we'll help him do that over the course of 10 days. It's been bothering him quite a bit. He's been able to play through a lot. There was two days in the last week that we had to take him out of the lineup um, because it was acting up a lot more those two days. But um, he's played through a lot of pain. But we think 10 days will calm it down and get him through the rest of the year. I don't think so. You know, I think that's what's exciting about Ellie is, as a player, um, you know, he, he can do a lot of things on the field, um, you know, which is, we know how important that is for, you know, developing a team that, um, you know, doesn't just do it in, in, in one way. You know, the defense is important, the base running, you know, hidden for power. Um, so, you know, and it, it's just, I mean, you guys got to, to hear him today. There's, uh, there's a confidence there. There's definitely a humility there that will help him just keep getting better over time. David, you've been around this game your whole life. Is there a guy that you reminds you of when you look this I haven't thought too much about it. I don't, I don't like to do that too much because I, I think every, every, uh, every player is unique. And um, you know, I think you, that can certainly be said about Ellie. You know, there's not a, not a lot of guys like him, and and uh, you know that that's exciting. We get to get to watch Ellie kind of chart his own path here and become the player that uh, you know that not even he hasn't even scratched the surface of who he's going to become. I mean, he's a very young man at this point and very early in his career, so it's exciting. Yeah, but a significant impact on the lineup and defensive positioning. How's that been for you and all the regulars adapting? Well, our players definitely make that process easier. We have a lot of guys willing to do whatever it takes to go out and and um, keep getting better as a team. And you know, to a man, every every player, every single player in our clubhouse has one goal, and that's to keep getting better and to win. Everyone wants to win, so you know, it's it, you know, there's a limit to that, and I understand that. You know, like guys have to be comfortable in the positions they're playing. But it makes it a lot easier when, when guys are willing to do whatever it takes. So, you know, that'll be my job to balance it. I'm not concerned. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. But, um, you know, it's fun to figure out every day how we get our, get our best lineup in there every day. And we have a lot of, a lot of options. Will it be a rotation? Shortstop, second base, third base? With how many left field and steer will be more set? How yeah, it'll be day to day. You know, it's not a, a particular rotation. Um, I think one benefit of, of, of being in this situation is going to keep a lot of our options open. That's not the, the point of playing guys in, in multiple positions, but I do think as things kind of fall into place, um, you know, we're not, we're not just um, you know, 
taking guys versatility away from them and putting them one one spot and you know making it hard to move off of that spot so I'm not going to unnecessarily move guys around but we're going to do what it takes to to win and we have guys that can play you know we have defenders you know we don't have guys that play one position we have defenders all over the field that's how we see it how exciting is it McLean's done what he's did. Steer now. Abbott last night. Ellie. Like you have this young group that you've been hearing about prospects forever, and now you're saying on the field producing. It's exciting. It's exciting for our organization, and like I was saying, a lot of a lot of people um, should be very proud of of the work that they've done in the minor leagues to help these guys prepare. It also says a lot about each one of those individual players. You know, for them to be. We were actually talking about this today. It used to. You know, this is a very, very competitive, difficult league, and there's so much that goes into it, and it's it's not easy. And these guys are making this transition um, look easier than it should. And that doesn't mean it's easy at all, but their their preparation has impressed me, where they're just kind of walking in the door and, and uh, you know, belonging right away. And it says a lot about them. Yeah, I mean it's it's pretty clear to me. Like we're going for it. we're we're going for it every single day. We're going for it as quick as we possibly can. You know, wh whenever that is, we want it to be as fast as possible. Um, but I also, on the other hand, like we're also doing what is the best for each one of these individual players, so that we're not putting you know winning today ahead of. Um, what's best for Ellie De La Cruz or Matt McLean or you know I mean you could you could say that maybe the the, the perfect day that Matt came the day Matt came was like the perfect day in his development to be here so that's the goal you know is to to be able to do both of those at the same time win as fast as we possibly can and we all, we all know we've all seen that 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 can happen at any time and you and things can go faster than than expected so that's our goal, and then having it last for as long as we can. Yeah, we'll so Andrew needs to speak to our traveling party real quick. Do any of you not in the traveling party have any questions before we go? I got just one better. Really quick one. If you were to describe the always game to a friend, family member, what word would you use? Um, probably dynamic. You know, it's it's uh, just watching them a little bit. You know, I watch a lot of their games on TV. You can't really get the full. Picture, but just seeing him in spring training, you know, he's it, he's um, you know he's free on the field, um, athletic, but I think dynamic. Just he's able to do so many different things, um, you know, just naturally on the field. So um, that would be it. One last question, David. Um, I'm the baseball team support, but how do you view the notion that a guy like Ellie can come in and make an impact and be the difference in you know, these close games? You know, I, we definitely see this as a, a whole team effort, and you know, and, and and I also, but I say that because, but I also get the individual aspect of it, and um, you know, everybody's able to bring different things to the team, and let's let it play out. You know, let's let's let Ellie settle in and, and let him be himself, and and let's just watch it unfold um, for Ellie and for our whole team. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah.